Do you hear the people bitch? Bitching the strong of angry fans. There are people who will not be playing RPGX again. Welcome, welcome. What an intro. We have in a timing game? No way. Controversy. That's right. RPGX, as you know, if you watched the video I posted about it with much excitement, has released finally on the 25th. After that, it was like, what, five days? And it was finally on Steam. That's how I can give you this amazing gameplay footage in the background. Um, it's on Steam. Funny story about this. Uh, this is not going well. Grimmery has really screwed the pooch. You, you know, it's I've never seen a game come out with so much controversy in the very beginning. For literally the most, arguably the dumbest thing ever. The way that the the people who make the game, I'm actually surprised that you you're seeing gameplay right now. Oh, never mind. I jinxed it. So this is one issue. This is just a small issue compared to the bigger issue. But this happens a lot. Now we'll give you a trick. If you don't follow the breadcrumbs and you do not hit go to title, the fight will continue. Everything will restart, and then you get another fight. All you got to do is be on auto and hope that your team don't suck. But. We're not here to talk about that. That was just a visual of showing the shit show. But I got a real shit show for you today. It is getting, as you say, review bombed. And I got some reviews. Yes. First of all, it's worth mentioning. Let me go to this real quick. Because I think this is important. Because it's a lie. And they, they should not say this. First of all, mature content description is a lie. As a matter of fact, funny enough, despite action being the same version you get on the Android, on Steam, you seem to get the iPhone version of the game. Which is weird, I've never seen that before, because not only is there absolutely no nudity in this game, you get the most... Why are they not... Why are they not moving? What's happening? What happened? This is what I'm talking about! Why well, they stop fighting? As soon as I said there's a fucking cheese, they... They're not counting her death. What? Well, that's new. Lilith in all its glory. What? What? Also, oh, is that why? Because it's a new day? I don't know. Also, I should also mention that we know we'll get to that because somebody actually said that. So okay, we'll get we'll get back to it. Thanks, game, for making me look bad and making me a liar. Sure knew he died and nothing happened, and, and the game didn't let go on. But at least we got visuals again. Hooray! How long does that last? But anyway, yeah, it's the iPhone version, so there's absolutely no nudity, not even a slight bit of skin. So don't even believe that. If you see this on Steam, it's a lie. Do not believe it. Not true. I mean, I guess technically this, but like, this is a lie. Not that it matters about. That's not really what this controversy is about. The controversy is about, have you ever met, you know, let's say there's a little kid, not a little kid, that'd be weird. Let's say there's this guy named Little Mike, right? And he has spent his whole life being super financially stable, always tries to pay off his debts. You know, he has a credit card, he pays it off the day it's due, right? This guy has never been in debt before. Little Mike comes across a little game called Time in an RPG. Now, for whatever reason, something draws Little Mike to Time in an RPG. Imagine Little Mike just scrolling through the, the net one day, as some have called it. And he sees Time in an RPG Ecstasy. He falls instantly in love. He starts to play the game. He finds out it is releasing. There's an English version releasing. And like, a tomorrow. Oh, what are the odds? It's the 24th. He decides that he's going to play this game. So he downloads it. He downloads it. He plays it. He commits to it. He, he loves it so much. He spends 
money on the game. He never spent money on a game before. And he spends money on this game. And he plays it non-stop. All he does is play this game. He's accumulated something called trust, as you would know if you watched the once, twice, three times video I did. He accumulates trust in the game. And he accumulates trust towards the game. So he's getting characters. He's leveling them up. Non-stop grinding them, them characters. And then, oh, lo and behold, his first trust. 500 gems, wow, this is amazing. 1,000 gems, whoa, he does more, and he does more, and he's so happy. This is the best game ever, he says. I love this game. And then, I won't post it up because it'll be too much of a bother to find it. Grimory decides, you know what, we've made a mistake. That is way too many gems. Nobody's going to buy any gems at this rate. We gotta reduce it. Okay, that's fair. You know, those who, you know, played early, they get a little bit of a bonus. You know, you got a little bit of appreciation, right? A little bit of appreciation towards the fans who started from the beginning. They get a little bit of extra. Oh, wait, he's in debt. Wait, what's that? That's right. There is controversy in this game. This is basically saying a lot. You are in debt. If you play this game right now, you are in debt. I have 6,000 something um, crystals, free crystals, and I can't do any, I can lose the crystals, I can I can summon and I can use, use those crystals up, but if I buy crystals, they take some of the crystals from that to pay off my debt, so yeah, me and Lil Mike are in debt now, and he's never been in debt, but that's not even the worst part, this guy says it best, this game is a five year old game. It's five years old. If you play Doken and you know about the Doken controversies, this is n that is nothing compared to this. You talk about 300 stones, they gave you 300 stones. This would be the equivalent of Doken messing up a banner and taking away the stones and the units you pulled for in that banner. And be like, well, we didn't mean it. This is bigger. This is like to the level I kind of put this with Mortal Kombat when it came out. They made the rewards way too hard to get, and then they came out later and said, oh, that was a mistake. I don't think it was a mistake. I think that they did do what they did on purpose, but then they realized that, oh, crap. People aren't going to spend money if we do this. we got to reduce it a lot. Because, you know, when I try to put 500, I usually put 250 as well. So we got the equivalent of a scammer putting a, an another zero on your hundred crystals. We, we legitimately got scammed. That's the crazy part. But, like this guy said, the arena is broken. There's a mission, a daily mission, to do the battle pass, where you have to play the arena at least once. Can't do it. Broken. Guilds. Can't make them. Can't join them. Guilds don't exist. Whether you get VIP or not, not a thing. Raids? Not a thing. Uh, well, they were a thing, but I guess there's some kind of thing where like, you go to, you get a request to be helping somebody, you go, and they're already dead because everybody's already killed them, probably somebody cheating. And you don't get any points because, well, the game doesn't recognize that you fought that enemy because the enemy was technically already dead when you fought the enemy, so there really is no system to work with the raids. When a raid starts, somebody already d takes them down because everybody can fight in the raid, and the raid boss dies instantly, and it's not like they have like so much health that you just can't beat them. They can be beaten. Apparently, I didn't even know this, the gacha is more expensive on this one. I did not know that. That's new. The greed, yeah, this is the VIP thing. Now, I said in that one video, you can get this without spending money. The greed, VIP, I think, is always kind of a, a bad thing. You can get it in-game without spending money. But with this one, you can... But it's, it's better to spend money, because VIP basically just means you spend money. You're a VIP player, you get more money. This is Electronic Arts, but Japanese. I don't know what that's about. What interesting time to be alive. This is a shout out to Raggy Dude. I have been playing on Joran since day one, and now I own crystals for a couple years probably. And the fact is that from 15 to 350 gems for each character doesn't look like human error. They just decided that 30. Exactly! That's what I was saying. That is all it is. They just. Uh, they saw that it was too generous. Now you may notice when I play Action Timing in, I tend to keep a lot of my gems. That's on purpose. You know, I play multiple app games. I don't have time to be spending a ton of money in all the games. That's just not realistic. 
So, unless I make a career out of doing them on YouTube, it's not realistic to be spending all the money on the games. So, yeah, I don't buy everything in action, and I do save up. And th there's a point to these games where saving up... Wow, that was fast. There's a point to this in these games where saving up is not a bad thing. But Grimory has taken it upon themselves to say, actually, yes, it is a bad thing. We don't want to give you a ton of gems for all uh, the characters you put work into. And now, instead of letting you get more gems or just being like, well, whoopsie-daisy, we didn't mean it. We're just going to be like, eh, sorry, bud, you're in debt. You know, I know you didn't want to do that. Uh, I know you had no control over it, but that's a lot of gems, and we don't want you to not spend money on this game. So we're just going to, like, stop you from getting gems. But don't worry, you can lose gems. But we're just going to count that towards your debt. You have a debt. Imagine playing an app game and getting a debt. That's like buying a credit card. I didn't even have to buy a credit card and spend too much money and not pay it back to get in debt. All I had to do was play Action Time. Not Action Time in. Action Time in is kind of better in that way. RPG RPG X Ecstasy. Oh, it's Ecstasy, all right. It's like when a hooker takes you to the bedroom, takes your credit card, and overpays everything. You get all the sweets, you get all the berries, you get all the liquor, and then you're like, I owe billions of dollars. I'm in debt now. That is what Time and just did. They have put you in debt. RPGX slash Ecstasy is a hooker that just took all your money and said you owe them more money. See, this guy says it best. I'm going to read it because I agree with him on this. And this is what makes me really sad. This is why I wanted to play this game. Despite the fact that it's another game to play that I really don't need to be putting into. I like the Time In series because of its setting and beside its not safe for work series, I do like the idea of a literal sci-fi fantasy mixed dystopia like Cop Crap and these series of Time In Ins is that, but with not safe for work. I was looking forward to this game in English release and I play a little bit of the JP version because I stopped because I can navigate its UI, because I can't read Japanese, but this game launch is a literal trash botch work in all senses. The series is originally not, okay, whatever. We don't care about that, but it's okay to play without nudity. But I agree, I like the series, and I really enjoy the artwork, I like the style, I like the story, I like the, the depth the series has, and stuff like this really kills it. And all the debt slaves unite, we are all debt slaves. We are in debt. I have never seen such an easy slam dunk just translate and pour. And that's what I'm saying. Like, how is this so hard? It's not even like, this is like, they just moved the game from Japan. It's been going forever. Why did they mess it up so badly? This whole game, like, okay, so I'll give you a little bit of backstory as well. On the second day this game was available, load times were abhorrent. You had to wait 30 seconds. And now you get kicked off of the game, you try to go to the quest, you can't even, like, sometimes it kicks you back to the title screen. I'm lucky I was able to get the gameplay I have here, but you can't even get proper gameplay because there's an error message the whole time. So yeah, there's controversy. So, this, has, this game has been review bombed, and it is well deserved. The developers put a gem debt in place as a way of recovering after they changed their mindset on how generous to be. See, the problem is, you know what's even funnier? This is like a bank telling you, bringing you into their office and saying, look, you're in debt, you owe us $100,000. But, don't worry. To help pay off your debt, we're gonna give you $1,000 right here, have fun. You're in debt, so they gave you more money. They gave a thousand gems that you cannot claim. So I was given a thousand gems I can't take them, but I got them. These people are insane. They put a note that said, like, we're so sorry. Here's a thousand gems to say sorry. Ow! I can't spend... It's not even... They're not giving me gems. They're, they're helping me pay towards my debt. I'm in debt because of a game. You're in debt if you play this game because of a game. Like, I want to do videos about strategy. I want to do videos about gameplay. I want to do videos about story. I didn't want to do a video about controversy over debt? Like, what What even is this? Pay up, bitch! Time it in. Pay up, bitch. Instead of ecstasy, they should call it that. Because that's basically what you're doing. And, you know, that's just... It's not great. So, the game has been, from the beginning, 
a, a shit show, to say the least. It's just, oh great, we're glitched again to where she died and it doesn't count. I guess that's as good a time as any in the video. Let's end the video by going to the title screen. That's exciting. So yeah, time in ecstasy. Uh, not not the best launch. Not the best launch. Uh, I'm going to still play it, though. Spending money on this game is probably going to be a non-starter. I did buy something already before this happened, and I regret it. I guess, just for the lulls, let's end with a summon, right? That's what you do in videos like this. You end with summons, right? You, you know, we went through the bad. Let's look to the good. Let's just give up. I don't care. And that's all the stuff I got. Hooray. Also, I don't know how to take her off of my, uh, my favorite. So I guess Rin's there forever. We may as well do a summon. I've already pulled Rinko. So I don't really need anything super important, but I do want to show you how I can't accumulate gems. So I got 6332, right? That's how you say numbers. So just for you, I'm going to claim these 10 gems. Where'd it go? Oh, oh what's that? I don't have any more. But nothing changed because I'm in debt. So all the gems are being held until I pay off my debt. So. Let's go to the shop real quick. I thought we were done, but we're not done. If it lets me. You know a game is bad, but they won't even want you to spend money on the game. Jeez. I don't care. Shut up. So, you can get a thousand yen. Why is it in yen? Why? I'm in English. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> Bump the mic there. If I was to buy crystals right now. Also, here's another issue. You can't look and see what you're getting. Like, I see crystals, 1800 crystals, all these crystals, these free gems, this is going to go, any crystals I get here is going to go to my debt. So, I'm not even going to get all the crystals that I buy. So, if you buy crystals, you're buying less crystals than you're supposed to get. So, that's great. So, as you saw, I can't gain crystals. That'd be silly. But we're going to do a uh, ticket pool. That's right. I'm not going to use gems. No, I said I was going to use gems. I had a point to make. All right, whatever. We're going to use gems or we're going to do a pool. So you see, nothing's going to change. Let's see if we get anything worth anything anyway. It's all trash. Good job. It might be new trash, though. So I won't skip it. That's not new. That was the first unit I pulled. That's not new. We already talked about her. Oh god, I like Samus. She needs to be in action. I like her too. She, she, she also needs to be in action. Got Samus again. Got Luster. She's, uh, she's cool. Oh, funny story as well. I'll keep saying funny story. This is censored on here, but in the game, like, the sprite work is not. So they also half-assed the, the censorship. <laughs> Alright, this is pretty bad summon. I got her in the last video, remember? Oh, that's new. Okay. A uh, Murasaki. Nothing crazy. Don't count on me. I can't count on you, that's for sure. But look at that. Wow, look, my gems went down. Amazing. It's almost like I can gain no gems, but I can spend all my gems. Isn't that weird? That's so weird. Let's end it with a positive pool. I like to end with positivity. Look how blue it is. Wow, I got a rainbow. Blue must mean win. I wonder if they have, they have fake outs in this game. Like, can it say it's yellow, but it's actually rainbow? There she is again. Nothing special there. I got her already. What? A double Renko? I don't even know what you do with dupes in this game. What am I going to do with that? Thanks, timing in. I was happy the first time I got her. There are other SSRs in this game, to my knowledge. I know, because I've used them as supporters, but... Oh, she's new. I like her design. There she is again. I like that artwork. Okay. 
She's not new, but I like her design as well. See, there's just so many good things in this series. Like, why does the developers have to be so garbage? What do you have to say, lady? The Devil Dom Dancer. Also, I think, like, a faction that's in action is called the Devil Dom in this? Very weird. Um, so there you go. That was my controversial video. Now, the video will not be complete until I get Rin to yell at you for not going to class. Class!